and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. Jamaica plans to source vehicles from Nigeria, High Commissioner. It is a tremendous opportunity to witness vehicle manufacturing taking place here in Nigeria, which is one of our brothers in the South. Oh, it is indeed an important opportunity for me to come here to witness this great um, exercise that is taking place here in Nigeria. Because in Jamaica, we are mainly used to vehicle manufacturing taking place in the traditional country. But it is, it is a tremendous opportunity for us to witness vehicle manufacturing taking place here in Nigeria, which is one of our brothers in the South. So it is an opportunity to, to be able to discuss commercial um, opportunities for sourcing vehicles from Nigeria. The Jamaican High Commissioner to Nigeria, Esmond Reed, says his country was planning to source for vehicles from Anosan Vehicles Manufacturing IVM, in Nigeria. Mr. Reed, in the company of Nigeria's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Jeffrey Onyema, made this known during a facility tour of IVM plant in Newi, Anambra State on Saturday. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, H.E. Jeffrey Onyema in the company of the High Commissioner of Nigeria to Jamaica, Esmond Reed paid a courtesy visit to the Anosan Vehicle Manufacturing Factory in Newi Anambra State February 11, 2023. On arrival to Newi on the 11th of February, they paid homage to the King of Newi, Igwe Kenneth Arizu, III, in his palace at Otolo Newi. At a warm reception at the palace, the Vice Chairman of the Cabinet, Chief Nanya Lugo spoke on the monarch's peaceful reign of almost six decades and said that the business relationship between Nigeria and Jamaica is a welcomed step towards development. The traditional ruler added that Jamaicans are our African brothers, and they are highly welcome to the city of Newi, the Japan of Africa. He said, for us, it is a tremendous opportunity to witness vehicle manufacturing taking place here in Nigeria, which is one of our brothers in the south. It is also a chance to be able to discuss commercial opportunities for sourcing vehicles from Nigeria. This is my first visit. I will go and consult with my stakeholders back home to look at the timeline and determine the negotiations and engagements and when we will start the business of sourcing the vehicles. The High Commissioner described IVM plant as top class, promising to encourage Jamaican citizens to come and see for themselves. I congratulate the management of this company and I'm very grateful to the Minister for making this visit possible for me. This can become the start of something great, he said. Commenting, Mr Onyema called for strict enforcement of the presidential executive order mandating government officials to buy and use Nigeria. I'm very proud. This plant is world class compared to some of the vehicles manufacturing companies I have seen in some other countries. Anosin is doing well. Left to me, every government official should be obliged to buy and use a Nigerian manufactured car. There is a presidential executive order that requires government officials to buy Nigeria. That order has to be imposed and made mandatory. In France, it is impossible to see a French government official driving a non-French car, same in Japan, Korea, UK and US. We have to do the same here. This will encourage and support our citizens and demystify technology, he said. The minister said he facilitated the visit to IVM when the Jamaican High Commissioner requested to see the impressive things going on in Nigeria. We consider these Caribbean countries as our brothers and sisters and we want to increase the level of trade and collaboration among ourselves, he said. In his remarks, the chairman of IVM, Innocent Chukwuma, appreciated the federal government for supporting manufacturing companies in the country. The CEO of Anosan Vehicle Manufacturing, Chief Dr. Innocent Chukwuma, Khan expressed gratitude towards the visit and appreciated the patronage of Anosan vehicles from within and outside Nigeria. He added that, such gestures have led to a massive expansion of Anosan vehicles to different parts of the world. On spare parts and durability, the Anosin boss asked all the users of Anosin vehicles to always report back to them in situations where they can't find the spare parts in the market for proper directions to the exact shops they can be found. The spare parts expert assured that every trained mechanic can easily repair any Anosin vehicle in case it malfunctions. 
the billionaire thanked the government for their support to local manufacturers nationwide. The government is trying its best to support us and we are grateful for their support so far. Enosin Vehicle Manufacturing IVM, is the first Nigerian indigenous car manufacturing company whose vehicles are known for top-notch quality and are regarded as the pride of African roads. Enosin Vehicle Manufacturing Company Limited, commonly shortened to IVM, is a Nigerian automobile manufacturer headquartered in Newi, Anambra, Nigeria. It was founded by Chief Innocent Chukwuma Anwala. Enosin Vehicle Manufacturing is nicknamed Pride of African Road. According to the company, 70% of its car parts are produced locally, while the rest are sourced from Japan, China, and Germany. Among IVM's vehicle models are the 5-seaters Fox, 1.5-liter engine, and Umu, 2-liter engine, as well as the minibus Uzo. Jamaica pledges to strengthen ties with Nigeria. The Jamaican High Commissioner to Nigeria, Mr. Esmond Street Reed, says his country is keen on strengthening ties with Nigeria in health, tourism, culture, trade, and business development sectors among others. Reed made this known during the commemoration of the 60th independence anniversary of Jamaica in Abuja. Reed said that Nigeria and Jamaica had enjoyed good diplomatic relations over the years and that Jamaica looked forward to expanding the relations to deepen the ties between both countries. Even as we celebrate this Diamond Jubilee, we are immensely grateful for the partnerships and the adverse areas of cooperation we have enjoyed with countries and international organizations around the world. We have a special bond with the Federal Republic of Nigeria and our collective history and culture extend over 400 years. Jamaica is an island country situated in the Caribbean Sea, spanning 10,990 square kilometers, 4,240 square miles, in area. It is the third largest island, after Cuba and Hispaniola, of the Greater Antilles and the Caribbean. Jamaica lies about 145 kilometers, 90 miles, south of Cuba, and 191 kilometers, 119 miles, west of Hispaniola, the island containing the countries of Haiti and the Dominican Republic, the British Overseas Territory of the Cayman Islands lies some 215 kilometers, 134 miles, to the northwest. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.